Sugar Boogers, welcome back to my channel. So today, a few of you were tweeting to me about the brand new Sims 4 Trait Importer. I think you guys probably heard me mention a couple times in either a cast or even maybe a few of my speed builds where I just wish I could change the freaking profile pictures in the gallery. Now, although, you know, EA hasn't necessarily made this a possibility officially, I, well, I didn't find a way. You guys let me know how I could do it and make my life just a little more easier by using this tool here. Now, I know people have bypassed it and probably have done it a completely different way. Um, I kind of started to get the gist of how I could do it if I really, truly wanted to, but I'm definitely going to just throw this out there. I've had a few minutes to experiment with this tool. This is seriously so much easier than it looks. It can look really, really, really intimidating, especially when you kind of get into the files and the nitty gritty of any program. But I'm telling you guys, it is super duper straightforward and really, really, really easy. I actually didn't need to look at any tutorials or anything like that. I figured it out on my own pretty fast. So again, this program is called the Sims 4 Import Tray, and it is on luniversesims.com. It is technically in French, but you can easily translate this in the little download buttons right there. So it installs like any other program, and when you open it up, you will get a whole bunch of different options. So I believe there's like three main features for this program. So the first one is very similar. If you guys remember me talking about the Sims 4 tracker, um, where I was able to kind of open up save files I had saved to my portfolio or gallery, whatever, and just kind of look inside and see what CC I had used specifically. Now, uh, this is the exact same technology that they have incorporated into the Sims 4 tray importer, but let me just tell you, it is laid out a lot more nicely. It is so much more easier to find. I mean, like, you can literally right-click and find on Google. Like, there are so many more shortcuts to making your life just a little bit easier when it comes to linking CC on your blog, you know, for a creation or a build that you did. Now, there is an option to export, export, export. I don't know why that sounded so weird. Export your file with CC, which means it'll put it into a package folder and it will save it to whatever file you want to put it to or whatever folder, I mean. Now, just keep in mind when you are doing this, if you did decide to actually upload this to um, your website or a blog or I don't know, anywhere really, you could actually be breaching some of the creator's um, terms and conditions. A lot of creators do not want to re-uploading their content, especially their files. Why? Because when you go ahead and download it, say you downloaded, I don't know, um, you know, PS eyebrows 31. Many of you would have no idea what PS means. A lot of you would. Um, but either way, it doesn't give credit to the actual, um, the creator because all you're going to see is just the file name. You're not going to see all this other stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? So although this is a super duper handy tool and I get what they were trying to do, I just wanted to kind of forewarn you guys that that is against a lot of creators, um, you know, terms and conditions and stuff like that. So I highly uh, suggest that you do not re-upload their files anywhere unless they have given you permission to do so. Now say you had a whole bunch of CC that you really loved and you just put it on a sim and you wanted to export the CC, you know, onto your desktop or whatever and save it for later or whatever the situation is. Personal use, I think is personally fine. I don't think you're going to get in trouble for that. But again, it's just kind of when you make it public for other people to download um, and you're not giving creators credit, that things start to get a little bit sticky. So uh, let me just reiterate so I know what the hell I'm saying. Tracking, CC, super duper easy. Exporting, okay. So the next thing I think that is a big um, plus side for me in this program is being able to finally kind of show off the true beauty of my build um, or being able to show off the, you know, details and, and the real personality of my Sims. So when you do go into your like save or whatever, you're going to notice that there's three different tabs, I guess, on the top. And then there's general, just kind of like the overall, um, you know, picture. I guess we could go into the default. This is what it's going to look like when you first open your file. It's going to be default. It's going to have these very interesting profile pictures. I'm not going to, I'm not going to call them any sort of way, but you know, not the most flattering, right? It's like a really bad school photo. And then you can put your description in or whatever. 
I don't know if this is actually going to change the description on the gallery, but the cool thing is, is it's pretty simultaneous. Uh, with the tracker, I would actually have to close my game. You know, the Sims 4 tracker, I'd have to close my game in order to open up the file. I can literally do edits right from this screen and it will show right up on my gallery instantaneously um, before I upload it. I don't know if you can change existing, but it will show. Like if I change this picture, it'll show. It is so awesome. I love it so much. So you have general, then you have files, which is basically like the game files. Um, you can ex export this stuff without getting in trouble because it's not going to have any of the CC or anything. Um, and then you have the CC file where it lists all the CC that you've used. Remember earlier I said you could find on Google? Well, hypothetically, I'm going to go ahead and just try that out. So what you can do is you can show containing folder. You can find on Google. You can look at the info. Um, you can copy path and name. I'm actually just going to go ahead and find on Google. And, uh, okay, it says no apps are installed um, of this type, Microsoft Edge. So I'm a little confused as to, uh, you know, that whole thing. But you know what's really easy? If I just go ahead and copy the name um, and I went to Google and clicked paste. So instantly when I went ahead and did that, I was actually able to find it pretty much instantly, which is beautiful. It's so much more easier because with the tracker, I would have to manually type in every single little detail. And let me tell you, that gets pretty damn taxing, especially if you're like me and you could literally use like 30 pieces of CC in one creation. So in my personal opinion, again, just take out the extra couple seconds to manually link everything so you don't get yourself in trouble and you give credit to the creators who created this beautiful custom content for us. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Then we have down here, we have export, which will again, just export all of these files here onto whatever, uh, onto whatever you like to export them to. And it's just going to be like a package file, um, or a zip. I think it is a zip file. So if you have like WinZip, stuff like that, um, it'll just package into that and you can open it with a WinZip or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. If not, I guess I could go ahead and show you. Um, all right. So we have Gen 2606, Household, Abana, Compressed Folder. Okay. I'll go ahead and save it like that. And then I'll also go ahead and um, export. You can export it with the custom content or you can do a separate archive. So I'm going to go ahead and export that too. I don't know if it's going to rewrite. It will rewrite the first one that I did. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of exit out all of that. And then there you go. It is a package file and it looks a little something like this. So here are just the, um, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a zip file. My mistake, a zip file. It's not a package file. It's a zip file. Uh, so there's that one just with the game files. And then here is the one with all of the CC that you used and however you store it. So I store mine, my folders. That's how it's going to show up. Um, but if it's like just one big jumbled mess in your, your mods folder, it's going to be one big jumbled mess in, uh, the extraction folder. So hopefully that part makes sense to you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about now the main attraction for me personally. And, uh, let me just make sure I'm still recording. Okay. Uh, changing my, my, my pictures from this to that. Okay, so it's really, really easy. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into your files. Let me see. How are we doing this? Okay, so you're going to go into files, and you're going to just kind of play around, and you're going to click on it, and you're going to notice you'll see, like, the, the files, they pop up right there. It's really easy. So it's not this one. It's usually like the last three. So when you do that, you're just going to right-click, and you're going to push replace. You can convert image. You can show, you know, containing the folder, whatever. I don't mess with these two personally. I just automatically click replace and then it'll open up um, this folder. And this one is the one that you're going to see first um, when you upload your picture to the gallery. So this far one here is going to be like the one that everyone is going to see. That's going to be your first impression. Let's just put it that way. And then this is the secondary photo where like the traits show up and all that jazz. So it'd be a really good idea to maybe have like an up close and personal shot, hence this one here. And then maybe like a picture of her outfit or his outfit or their outfit or whatever. Um, that kind of thing. So, and it's going to be for every sim that you have, they're going to have their own individual files and all that jazz. So 
you know, you're going to do this for each individual sim is what I'm saying. So if you have more than one sim, you're going to do it for more than one sim, whatever. So as you're going to notice, there's like a checkerboard background. This is a transparent background. It is essential that you do this so that it looks pretty, um, pretty, I guess you could say authentic or it looks just like it would on the gallery. Like you don't really notice a huge difference. You know what I mean? Shows the original, um, background through. Although if you really wanted to, you could change it. You could make this any sort of background you want, maybe to stand out more or whatever. I personally am only looking to change it a little bit. I don't want to change it the whole thing. And I also don't want to get flagged, reported, or deleted. I don't know if that's a thing, but you know, I don't know the rules to uh, EA allowing uploads. So I rather not push, push their buttons at all. But, um, and I also just love how, you know, real it looks, I guess. So that's me personally. When I go and actually take the photo to replace it, um, I you, there's many, many, many ways you can take a photo. You can take a photo in cast using, you know, just traditional um, movements in, in the cast and just, you know, deleting out the background or whatever or leaving the background in if you really wanted to, I guess. Um, but another way I'm really loving taking photos personally is in this little photo cube that I made. It is on my gallery. Um, if you guys are interested in downloading this photo cube, uh, I know it's, it's people were so confused when I uploaded it. They're like, what the hell do I want to do with the photo? cube and this is literally what I use I use this to uh, take photos for uh, lookbooks um, intros I just make it green uh, what else do I use this for um, thumbnails and, and stuff like that uh, which it's really helpful because it's a bright little square and I don't have to remake it every single time. So I uploaded it for you guys in case you're interested. And I currently use the Pose Player. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the Pose Player, I will link that down below. I will link pretty much everything that I am discussing down below in the description in case you're interested. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hypothetically take a photo of her. Say I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So I'm going to have her stop posing if she would. And... Um, Apparently, she really likes to hold that pose, but okay, we're going to go and pick something out. Uh, I'm going to do this one really, really quick. Okay, uh, usually I'll hide like the plum bob or whatever, but if I have enough clearance room, I don't mess with it. And then what I like to do is zoom in there, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, press the C button, which will give me a screenshot. And then there we go. My little screenshot is exactly where it should be. Um, it's in my screeny folder in the documents folder under, I forgot, under EA Electronic Arts, Sims 4. Okay, so yeah, it'll be in your documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4 screenshots. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go into Adobe. I use Photoshop. You can use GIMP um, if you guys have any sort of program that you use and all that jazz to edit your photos. You can use whatever you need to use. Personally, I use Adobe Photoshop, but again, GIMP also has a lot of features of Photoshop, so you may be able to do the exact same thing that I'm trying to um, demonstrate here. So as you're going to notice, these are the two photos. Okay, so here is the picture that they're going to... Um, that everyone's going to see first. And in case you're wondering the file dimensions, I'm actually going to go ahead and show it to you right now. Uh, the file dimensions for the first one are um, 589 by 394. So if you guys need to write that down. And basically um, what that's going to look like. What the hell did I just do? Basically what that's going to look like is this right here. Okay, so you can play with it, you know, the closer you get, the more um, zoomed in it's going to look, the more farther back you go, the more zoomed out it's going to be, whatever. But this is what I liked, this is how I accomplished, you know, her to look like this here on the gallery. Where are you, Hookah? All right, so there we go. That's how I accomplished that look personally. So to do this one, it was a little more trickier. Uh, as you can see, probably it's a little... Like, she's pushed down a little bit. But when you go on the gallery, um, it looks pretty legit. So, again, you're going to have to, like, play around a little bit. Um, and you see, it's really, really, really zoomed in. So, I would probably have to actually squish her out a little bit more uh, so that more of her outfit was showing. But, again, you could play with this as much as you want. Don't think you're doing anything wrong. You just might have to uh, play around and, and, you know, play with 
the image a little bit, but the sizing is the way to go. The sizing should stay the same no matter what. So I'm going to tell you guys the sizing for this too. I will also have this iterated, uh, reiterated down in the description. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this so I can show you guys the file size. So the file size for this is 638 by 639. And it also will tell you too. Um, I think here we are. So it should tell you also in here, but they get changed for some reason. So in case you guys need to, you know, go back for a reference, it tells you up here. I mean, it's really not that hard. It's just this one. For some reason, it needs to get pushed in and pushed down. It's, it's a little weird, but that's that. And uh, so I say I like I wanted to go ahead and just change this photo specifically. How would I do that? OK, so you guys saw earlier I took the screen cap or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and preview that. I always like to print the screen. I don't like to drag and drop. The reason why I don't just go ahead and drag this from here into, you know, here or whatever. I guess that's a bad example because that's not the one I'm using. Now is it? OK, this one. OK, so the reason why I don't do this is because that you know and then if I go ahead and I like just start stretching things out and whatever it just it loses quality to me I don't like all that so what I like to do is just go ahead and again I like to right click preview print screen on the keyboard and then I essentially just press paste and I move it around and I'll go ahead and kind of like play with the transparency a little bit so I can kind of see you know if I'm on par with the previous thumbnail like I'll save her originals for like um, reference or template or whatever for, you know, other creations and things like that. So I don't have to like redo it every single time. So what I like to do is take the little magic wand tool, if you guys can see right here, and I just go ahead and click on the white parts. That's why I use a white background in my studio. And there you go. Um, you're going to want to make sure that, you know, um, any layers beneath her are completely deleted um, or transparent. Uh, so that you end up getting these little squares here. Um, if you wanted to actually add in like a colored background or whatever, you totally could. If you really wanted to, that's all up to you. Um, all that you would do then is actually merge visible. And then you would go ahead and click save as. And you would save her as a PNG file and then whatever file name of your choosing. All right, so it's a little bit different when you're actually not using any sort of background at all. And you're actually just going for the more transparent look. So what I like to do, though, before I do all that, is I like to edit my photo. So as you can see, it's a little bit blurry. Um, so all that I do is I go into Smart, Sharp, Smart Sharpen, and you'll instantly see such a huge difference by the quality of the picture. It makes it look a lot more crisp. Um, and the reason why that is is because I've actually articulated. It's like my secret formulation. It's like the syrup and coke you know what i mean you don't really want to give out all your details but let's just play i just, let's just say i played with smart sharpen um and i got it a certain type of way so it looks really crisp and clean it took a minute to get the right formulation but i got it um i'll go ahead and share it with you these are my numbers i'm not that kind of person i really don't care if you uh if you um you know get get a little inspiration so to speak so there we go those are my personal uh, what you call it? Those are my personal stats to be able to get the super clean thumb. In case you guys are interested, you can write down those um, amounts and stuff. Okay, so once I've got that done, I'm pretty much good to go. You don't need to merge anything. You don't need to compress anything uh, when it's just one layer like this. If it's more layers, that's where things get tricky, but it shouldn't get tricky it should just be one layer for now then all you do is you save as and you're going to want to save it as a png file as well any other file that you save it as it's going to immediately put a default white background on you'll lose your transparency on your image and then you won't be able to see the default gallery background if that is what you were going for so all that i'm going to do then um is i'm going to go ahead and save that so i guess so i can show you guys what we're going for here so I'm just going to go ahead and save it as some random file. All right, PNG options. You're just going to go ahead and interlace. I always do interlace. I'm going to just go ahead and like exit out all these windows here. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to replace this one with the... It should show up unless I accidentally did something wrong here. Which wouldn't be utterly surprising at all. 
Let me just go ahead and double check where I actually saved this as. Okay, I don't know why I saved it or why it went into favorites. Let's go ahead and try that again. We're going to go ahead and uh, save it to the desktop. All right, I'm going to save it with random file key. Okay. Let me go ahead and try. Uh, this happened to me earlier too. I promise you, I do somewhat know what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to replace it. There it is. Awesome. And there you go. You can kind of see that it's already been changed. If I was to hit apply, which you need to hit apply for your actions uh, to take effect, it'll change your picture in your gallery instantaneously. So you don't need to go ahead and like change anything. You don't need to um, exit out of the game or anything like that. But it's pretty self-explanatory, actually. I mean, hopefully this helped you get a good idea of what you can do and what you need and all of that jazz but other than that that's really all that there is to this program that i'm aware of as of presently those are the features that i would use it for my main thing again is just kind of managing cc when i upload um, custom creations and then also being able to finally control what the hell my thumbnails look like because honestly which one looks better to you would you would i mean if you really thought about it you had to choose between these two sims. Who would you pick? Like, that's not even her. Like, that's not even what she looks like. You know what I mean? You'd probably go for the left, right? I mean, let's be realistic here. Uh, so hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I hope that you did. What am I doing? Um, if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions or anything, please don't forget to just go ahead and ask. I'm sure I will answer them or somebody who knows the answer will answer them. Uh, I will also kind of reiterate everything that we talked about here today, as well as links to the GIMP and everything else that I could possibly help you with in the comments down or in the description rather uh, below. I will also link some helpful videos like how to install mods, uh, which will help you in entail, uh, in entail, which will help you install the pose player and trait poses and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can add a little sass to your Sims when you're uploading their new profiles to the gallery. So hopefully that all made sense. I'm not the best at describing, but I definitely try. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun is in shine. And I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.